I want to take a moment to begin this video and talk about this struggle we're having with this channel. It's really kind of the way that gun channels are interacting with Google and YouTube is affecting us and it's affecting our ability to be able to produce content. So I want to take a moment and just ask you support us on Patreon where a lot of the content we can't put here is going and it supports this ministry. There's a question that we get asked quite a bit on this channel, and that's how much ammo should you have on hand? That's a great question. As a matter of fact, I personally used to look up this question many, many years ago because I wanted to know, well, how much ammo should you have on hand in the event of some sort of world changing event? What should you have on hand? Well, let's start with there's a lot of variables there. What is the event? Where are you at? Geography, you're in the city, you're in the country, in the mountains, you're in the desert, a lot of variables there. What kind of gun you got? Uh, so I'm just going to go through the general aspect of how much ammo I believe you should have on hand. Let's start with an average. I believe that the average should be around 1,000 rounds per firearm, and that's just not my opinion. Um, I've heard that from others, but it's really kind of based on some uh, military specifications as well. Uh, let's assume you're talking about a sporting rifle. Uh, let's just kind of put all other guns. <laughs> just you're talking about a sporting rifle here. What the military looks at is really um, essentially six loaded magazines uh, per rifle and then have six reloads. So ultimately what you're looking at is you're looking at about 1,080 rounds per rifle. Um, and that's very reasonable. So I say a thousand rounds. If you think you're going to be in a scenario uh, that's going to go on and on and you're not in the military, you're just kind of defending your home, maybe you don't need any rounds. Uh, but worst case scenario, I think a thousand rounds per firearm. Now, so, and this is just the baseline. Uh, you're also going to need practice ammo, especially if you're trying to train somebody who doesn't necessarily know how to shoot on certain guns. You're going to need some practice ammo. So your baseline is a thousand rounds. You want to practice, you're going to have to start adding up from there. Uh, now that's for a sporting rifle. And I believe handguns are the same thing, a thousand rounds per handgun. Uh, ultimately, what you got is you got, again, six loaded magazines with six reloads. Uh, handguns, you're going to just boost it up to a thousand in my humble opinion. You're going to be a little bit lower than a thousand if you do the math, but just boost it up to a thousand to be safe and keep some on hand for practice in addition to that. Now, when it comes to hunting rifles, I'm going to say 500 rounds because most people aren't going to be out just blasting off round after round of a hunting rifle. If the hunting rifle is your only rifle, then of course now you're back to the thousand rounds. But if you have a thousand rounds for your sporting rifle and a thousand rounds for your handguns, and I believe 500 rounds for your bolt rifles, uh, lever guns, that sort of thing. And then I'm also gonna say 500 rounds for your revolvers as well. Uh, so there you go as a general rule. And, and, and that's the baseline. Thousand for sporting rifles and handguns, 500 for revolvers um, and uh, hunting rifles. That's your baseline. You wanna practice. You just go up from there. So uh, there you go. I'd love any thoughts or insights you have on that. I think it's a great question. How many rounds did you have on hand in case of an emergency? I believe it's a thousand per gun plus some for practice. Revolvers and uh, hunting rifles, 500 per round. So there you go. I'm sure there's a lot of different people who say, no, 10,000 around for, five, you know, what's what do you think? Uh, again, this is just based off of some equations I've seen. Uh, through the military and my own personal opinion and some other videos I've maybe checked out. So any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. The link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.